So today we will see or uh, learn how to write a story. So we'll be dealing with writing a short story first, right? Which is in your syllabus also. So when you write a story, you must take care of your plot first. First, think about the thing. Think about like what you want to write. What should be the plot of your story? So first of all, think like what would be the outline of your story. And before the plot even, you think like what? Think like what kind of type? What type of story you want to write? So type can be uh, a comedy. You want to write a comical story, humorous story. Okay, or you want to write. <clears throat> It can be a comedy, it can be horror, okay, it can be a tragedy, okay, it can be somewhat where, you know, it can be a travelogue kinds also. Okay, you can mention like what, whether your story uh, covers up the travel also, journey also, okay, then your focus will be about describing the places or the sites. Okay, so the kind of story you want to write, that is your choice. After you've thought like, I want to write this kind of story, okay, then you think about the plot. In the plot, you will also be able to make out like which character, what, what kind of character you want, who would be the main character of your story. So plot and character. Character or characters. So what is plot like the main outline of the story? Like you want a story about a, about a boy or a girl or an old man. So it can be anyone or a pilot. So anything which come, which you think you, you uh, can make out about the character. So plot about a character who will you know, so there are some plan of action, action plan. So maybe you think about the pilot uh, who might be kidnapped or the old man uh, who might be able to meet some God. So it can be an imaginary story also. Okay, it can be a fairy tale also. Whatever the kind you want to think, that you can think here. Type. After type only your plot will be set. Okay, the plot will depend upon the kind of type you choose for your story, right? So the whole action plan will be like in one or two lines, you should be able to tell you what story is going to be from beginning till ending. So action plan and ending. So the plot is like what, what actually would happen in your story to the main character. That is the outline of the story of the plot. So then your work will be to delineate your characters. So from here, you'll come to know that I will have one main character. So what kind of character then according to the plot, you would want your main character, your main character, you, its qualities you will be first of all ascertaining. You would have to fix, like my main character is going to be a very brave person. He is going to be um, uh, highly qualified. Or you want your main character, as per the story, to be illiterate. Or you want the uh, your the person to be very wise. Okay, you he you want that he should be very good in uh, you know his communication skills would be good, or he might be able he might have some uh, you know. Uh, he might be skilled at something. So these things you'll have to make out first, like your character will remain such throughout. Okay, uh, or you want like, yes, uh, if all the qualities are there, there might be something uh, uh, missing in him. He might have some weakness also. So that also you can say like there might be the flaw in, flaw in, flaw in the main character. So he might be, miss, uh, he might be, you know, poor in something, he might not be good at something, right? If you're especially going to write a tragedy, then uh, all the good qualities and one bad quality will help him become 
uh, will help him fall, uh, become victim of the situation. Okay. So when you're thinking about the main character, then it's all good qualities. There can be one negative quality in, the, in that character. And because of that negative quality, this hero may, may fall in the end. That, that is what happens in the tragedies. And that is a, a reality with the life also. Uh, yes, so the better plot is nothing but the outline of the whole story. Whenever a movie is made, whenever a story writer thinks about a storyline of the movie or of a novel or of the play, then first they write the plot. First of all, they think about the plot. Plot is what, like you say, like, uh, I want a story about a young boy who would be too good in this, 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 and uh, he will have one weakness and he will uh, try to become the software engineer and uh, he will become software engineer, his journey towards becoming what he wanted. And finally, from there, the fall he had and fall will be because of one negative quality. And after when he will fall, then will he rise? If it is a tragedy, then we can't show the rise. In a tragedy, we'll make him become flop and he will fall and the others will learn a lesson out of it. But if it would be, if it is not a tragedy, then you can uh, make out the other action plan. You can think about other things through which the person will again rise and become, will give us a happy ending. Okay, plot is the character, what will he do and what will he become? And finally, uh, if he will fall, then will he be able to rise? If rise, how? So if you, action plan is, a plot is the overall outline of the story in, a, in one or two sentences. So it is all big writers, all the famous writers, first they think about the plot, then they start writing the story. Okay, writing a story is just giving your story the, uh, the body. Soul is the real life in a body. Okay, human being without soul is dead. Okay, similarly, a story without a plot is a dead body. So story is like giving, complete stories like giving the plot a body. But otherwise, a soul within the story is a plot. Okay, plot is like the overall storyline, overall. Is that clear? Is that clear? So don't go after the technical details of what kind of story I want. You can simply think about whether you want a, whether you want a fairy tale or you want a comedy or you want a tragedy or you want a, a horror story or, or what. Okay, any kind of story you want, especially you are to be very careful when you're writing a tragedy. Tragedy is a story with a, with an unhappy ending. But that unhappy ending or the unhappy uh, end of the hero of tragedy is a lesson for the readers. Like why he, why he fell, what made him become a failure. So the tragedy ends with a lesson, mind it. Whereas a comedy, you know, in a comedy where you want a happy ending in the end, there also a lesson can be there, okay? With all the negativities, the hero can fall, but with good qualities, the hero can again rise. So first of all, think about the type, then plot. Then when your plot is set, then you will come to know like who will be the main character, what kind of the characters will be there, okay? Character, the, whether the character is going to be, these are the examples I've written of the, of the character's qualities. You will have to decide on your own, like in your story, what will be, what kind of character will it be? But one thing is there, if you think that your character is going to be a strong willed power person, then throughout the person will be shown like a strongly willed person. He will not, uh, he will not change his mind after saying something. Okay. If you say, if you feel that in the beginning that the main character of your story is brave and everything, but he has a poor, uh, you know, uh, willpower. 
then the same characteristic will go throughout. Okay, because as human beings, you know, we are we are also like that. Okay, we are also like we all have one story of our life. Okay, if we all have a story of our life, imagine yourself to be a character of your story. Not imagine you are. You are the main character of your story. So whatever your characteristics are, they are fixed. Okay, you might be very hardworking. You might be very, uh, you know, regular. You might be very punctual. Uh, you might be very. Uh, uh, you sometimes you might be very eccentric. Sometimes you might be very, you know, fun loving. Sometimes you might be very funny also. So there are so many, uh, uh, you know, characteristic traits of yourself. Okay, so imagine you're writing a story of your life. Then you will be the hero of your life, of your story. Then as a hero, you can think about your own qualities. Okay, it's not that today you are very hardworking and tomorrow you will become lazy. It's not so some qualities happen to be very, very, some qualities are not some, like all qualities of ours are fixed. Okay, if somebody is very brave, then it's not that for two days we are brave, after the third day we become very uh, covered or co covered or timid. It's not so. If you are, uh, if you are very, uh, if you are very brave, yeah, then you are brave always. Okay. If you are uh, very funny, if you love uh, humor, then you will be humorous forever. It's not that uh, uh, many a times you become very boring. No. So the characteristic features of a person remains true forever. So similarly, the characters you'll be choosing, they are also lifelike. Is that clear? So please uh, try to think about it. It's a very, very important concept that your characters should remain true to, true to what you paint them as, okay? So after the characters qualities they have been thought about, then you can, you have to think about the other characters also. Okay, if there are five characters and all those five characters will have their own features that you should be fixed about. Okay, so when you, your plot is clear, when your characters, you, you know, their qualities are clear in your mind, then you can start writing the story. Uh, and when you've finished the writing st story write up, then after the story has finished, then you can think about like what title is to be given to it. Okay, finally, the title should be given to the story. Some people say that uh, you can write, you start the, you write the title in the beginning. Uh, but I must, I can suggest to you that you can write the title in the end. But in the end, write it on the top also, top only. Some children write the title in the end of the story that, that is not acceptable. All stories have their titles on the top. Okay, have you ever read a story without title, number one? Has anyone read a story without a title? No, you've not read a story without a title in your life, but you people write stories without titles in exams or in the test or in the notebooks. Okay, so don't write a story without title, but I'm suggesting you that you can write a title, you can write the title to your story in the end, because in the end you'll see like what's the most uh, important action or event in your story. Accordingly, you give it a title. Okay. In order to see the uh, the kinds of stories, how to write a good story, uh, there is no dearth of it. You have read so many stories so far. Okay. Each week we do one story in the class also. Okay. So they are all examples of story writing. Writing. Okay. They are all the stories written by famous writers. So all those stories which you people have read so far in your classes, all the stories which you people, you know, read otherwise, they are all examples with you, like how to write a story. Okay. So you can write, uh, yes, it can be a autobiographical story also, real story also. Okay. So it's not that you are to write only fictional, fictitious stories, fake stories, you can write something. Uh, about a real incident also, okay? Real incident, uh, something which you might have observed or seen around or even from your own life, okay? You may point out that it is you, whether it's autobiographical or not, or you can make the readers feel as if they are reading a 
uh, a fictitious story, but it can be from your own life. And it happens. Okay. And yes, one thing more. So type of the story, plot of the story, characters. One thing more which makes a story, uh, which gives a story a real uh, feeling, a good feeling, that is the setting of the story. Okay. Setting of the story means like, a, uh, but where will the story, what will be the background of your story? Will the story be having the background of, uh, of just one house? Or will it be the setting of a city or an urban area or a village or a countryside or a jungle? Okay, or a tribe? So what kind of setting do you want your story to have? Okay, setting in the setting, we have to talk about the place and also time. Will it be set in the in 2020, 2022, or will it be set in 1947, or will it be set in 1857, or do you want your story to be set in uh, uh, 2058, okay, or you want it to be set in 2222, okay, next century? So what do you want? So whether the story will be set in a tribe or in a city, your choice. Whether it is set in India or in America, your choice. Whether your story will be of 21st century, your choice, or 19th century, your choice, or even 25th century, your choice. Okay, anything. Your story may, may have a setting of the past or maybe of future also. Your choice. You are a story writer. So setting very important. It's not that uh, the first scene of your story is uh, uh, is in uh, you know Jalandhar two zero two zero, and in the next paragraph you talk about eighteen fifty seven uh, tribe. Yeah, if it is happening, then it must be as per the proper setting in the story. Okay, and one thing more, time. If you say like um, if we are talking about time like twenty first century, uh, if we are talking about. Uh, October, uh, if we are talking about January in our story, then uh, the whole story should be set, should be set somewhere around January only. Okay, because uh, time and place must have, uh, you can say, limit, limitation. Time and place should be limited because it, the things happen to be universal. Okay, if some case will start in January in a story, then the case should be sorted out by Feb in the story, I mean. Don't prolong it too much. Okay? If you, st uh, you might have seen that there are some uh, stories or there are some movies or there are some serials which, uh, you know, uh, uh, which conform to the time and place limits. Okay? Uh, if some family scene is there in some uh, story or if some, in some movie or in a serial, that family, you know, that time, you know, is about five years or 10 years, then they show that the children are grown ups, then the characters are also changed. Then one character dies, another character, another generation comes up. That is to keep up with the time. Okay. It's not that the mother in a serial remains young throughout. They start making the mother, they start showing the mother as having become a little older. So that the characters are able to tune in with the time and pace with the story. So in nutshell, if I tell you how to write a good story, first of all, think about the type of the story you want to write. Okay, you will be uh, if we talk about from the examination point of time point, point of view, then you will be given a, a storyline, you'll be given an outline, the first line of the story will be given to you. And on the basis of the first line, your story will continue. But from there, you will have enough scope to make out whether you, you will have like a freedom to choose the kind of story you want to write. Okay, already I've told you, you can write either, uh, either a real story, okay, which might be based upon some incident around you, okay, around the char characters you've seen, right? Or uh, you can talk about uh, <clears throat> uh, what I was saying. Uh, it can be real story or it can be imaginary also. You can mix and match real and imaginary together. It can be horror, it can be comedy, it can be tragedy. 
okay uh, it can be totally humorous it can be a story with a message also your wish okay so then uh, you have to think about the plot of the story plot is the overall outline then after the plot you'll have to think about the characters you want for your story and plot characters will also make you feel that what kind of setting you want to give to your story what place will be there what time will be there so all these things will be will go in the making of the story and finally you will write the story and in the end you will see like what your overall story is about what's the main main action of the story what's the main event of the story what's the main message of the story then accordingly you will give your story a suitable title is that clear is that clear is that clear those who are listening to me raise hand okay those who are listening raise hand only eight children have raised hand so far okay those who are listening raise hands and those who are sleeping they may lower their hands okay 15 children are have raised their hands and three children have sent messages also okay you can lower your hands okay so now i'm giving you one outline you'll be writing that story on your own later on okay i'm writing the outline here on the blackboard please note it down outline for story so i have written i could never imagine this it was actually very shocking how can my wife ever do this now you continue so here i have given you the outline the beginning of the story i have given you then you will be just uh, you copy it as it is now the point is that your story should start like this only the first two lines are to be like this and afterwards i have already given you a hint that it's going to be with the first person i and secondly your wife has also come inside so two characters are there now you have to continue with these two characters plus if you want more you first of all decide the plot of your story type plot characters okay send the message those who want to say something jayant ji now lower your hands lower your hands now yeah if you want to uh, ask something you can send a message yeshika lower your hands so have you got this outline okay so this is your homework you can do this today okay and uh, spend some time upon it it's just not that you start writing the story but before that you make a suitable plot would that be fine would that be fine ishika is i guess not there just hands up and she is gone somewhere else okay children so finish off the work today
ओके सर